Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are doing well today. So in this video, we're going to be running through a quick plus two miss, plus three miss actually. Um, and I wanted to talk about Prop Warrior now. I'm playing it with the new legendary. Uh, do we have a nightmare? We do. I'm playing it with the new legendary reprisal. And uh, it's, oh, honestly, it's so good. It's so fun. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's quickly becoming my new favorite spec. I'm tanking everything. I've already done a couple of decent sized keys. And I just wanted to talk about what I'm enjoying about it, really. What's making it so good for me and uh, and if I think it's going to become viable. So I am playing Necrolord, as you can see on the screen. Um, and it's it's interesting. It isn't better than Venthyr or um, than Kyrian for tanks, for, for warriors. And that's purely because both of those offer kind of very selfish benefits to, to warriors. Uh, but I think Necrolord, if you get to play around it correctly, is going to be better overall. Uh, the 400 Mastery, I am running MNI as well, which means we're also giving everyone primary stat. I am running the Conduit, which also gives me primary stat. So I'm getting around 20% extra strength every time I use my banner, which as a tank is just insane. Like, I'm doing so much damage. As you can see, I'm only 196. I'm pulling 3k DPS at the moment, and it's really, really fun. Fleshcraft in itself now is just a very good ability. Uh, I'm hitting like 20, 30k shields at times. And I think between all of it, it's the whole play style is just very fun. The one thing that I will mention with Warriors that some people may like, some people may not, is that you have to choose between survivability and defense. So you have three rage spenders at the moment. You have shield block, you have ignore pain, and you have revenge. Shield block is one that, because of reprisal, you're going to have up a lot of the time. It's something that if there's any melee mobs, you want shield block up. It's just that good. You then are choosing between revenge and ignore pain for the rest of your rage. So there's a good chunk of times where I'm just going to pump into revenge. As you can see right now, I've just popped shield block, um, which is helping me against these. And the rest, everything else is going into um, revenges. I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. And if you actually look, I'm kicking out 3k DPS here as a 196 tank. That's pretty insane. I've popped Avatar. Like, I haven't really popped. It's not like I've popped a massive cooldown. We've just popped Bloodlust. I mean, obviously, of course, that's going to help. Let's throw my banner down. So, again, we're getting all that extra strength. We're giving mastery to our team. I know that the priest is very well geared, so I did just go and stand next to him for a second just to give him a little bit more mastery. But all in all, we are a little bit of a support bot in that the mastery is obviously, the, the banner is there to help others more so than it is to help ourselves. But everything else on this just fits so nicely with it as well that I don't feel bad doing it. There's times as a priest where I'm using power infusion on other people because it's there it's good for them to use it at that time whereas ultimately now i'm using banner when it's good for me and people are just getting benefits out of it so i'm sure there's an argument to be made to play the other specs but for me personally necro is just very fun right now um we're currently doing low level keys i have done a couple of um just to show you i've done a 12 a 10 and a 9 that i've tanked so far was with a guild group, which is a little bit cheating, ultimately, because, I mean, they're always going to be a little bit easier when we can talk to each other and things like that. But even at 196, I wasn't struggling. I kept aggro for the most part. Again, that's one thing the Warriors do struggle with just a little bit, is that's going to snap threat at the start of a pull. Uh, we have, through Reprisal, we get a, a Revenge proc. So there is some benefit to jumping into a pack now and being able to hit something with uh, revenge. Ah, oh, feels bad. Uh, yes, yeah, so there is some benefit to be able to uh, charge into a pack, hit something with revenge. We've got 20 rage, which means we can get another revenge off as well. Between two revenges, we've probably got enough threat then. 
Um, not always. Sometimes, again, like we go into this pack, the priest is then pulling like 10k DPS on the pull. I've had to use a cooldown there. So I use scale just because it's I use it pretty much on cooldown in low keys. I had to use re um, revenge. I had to use ravager just to get a bit of threat. Uh, and that's that's something that I'm noticing a little bit more I'm having to do. Sometimes I'll actually shockwave a pack, not because I need the shockwave, but just because I need not to be losing threat for a minute. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the maze is not going particularly well. Uh, so just to talk about a couple of other changes that happen in 9.0.5 that kind of affect me directly. So Elemental Shammy. I tried out today, very fun, very playable. The earthquake changes make it from, instead of one large earthquake, we're now doing two, maybe three smaller earthquakes and playing it like that, which, I mean, is very, very fun. Because it doesn't matter so much if the tank dies. Obviously, you want to put them all on top of each other and the tank stays still in an ideal world, but... We don't live in an ideal world. It's never going to happen quite like that. So we've just got to be able to deal with what we get. So it's this one. Never been able to, like I said, we've got to be able to deal with whatever we get. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. I'm running Skybreakers on my chamois at the moment. But my worry is very quickly becoming my new main. It's something that I'm interested in pushing to Keystone Master. Uh, maybe further. If that's something you guys are interested in, maybe me doing kind of trying to push to Keystone Master. Like I said, it only dinged two days ago, so I'm still a little bit low geared. I need to push my gear just a little bit, which is why I'm farming the Valor at the moment. Uh, the other thing that's also coming is I'm going to be recording a Valor video, all things Valor. Uh, telling you where to get it, what the most efficient ways to get it are, uh, what to spend it on, and what the most efficient things to spend it on are. Because... Some things are just really, really crazy expensive. There are some things that you can get better from other places quite easily. So, uh, I mean, it does vary a little bit by class, but we'll go through all that sort of stuff in the video. So if it's something you're interested in, keep an eye out for that. It will be coming in the next couple of days. So rooted, going to pop my avatar and get out of that, which is something I do enjoy. Uh, so on this pack here, we pulled 5.3k DPS. That's absolutely insane. Uh, for my Druid, just to put this in perspective, for my Druid to hit that sort of DPS, um, which is like 220 eye level, I would need to pop Incarn, right? And yes, I popped Avatar there, but Avatar is half the cooldown of Incarn. Uh, we're going to drop a banner here. We are running with a Holy Pally, which isn't great for running banner, purely because they steal the nearest the way banner works is it buffs the two nearest people and yourself with 400 mastery you've got a holy pally because they're always in melee they do tend to steal the buff a little bit which isn't great so we're jumping around all over the place which is nice giving us loads of shield block right here So again, I mean, we're running around with 13 seconds of shield block at the moment, which in itself is very, very nice. Uh, but it also means that the rest of my rage can just go on Revengers. I'm fine. It's a single target. I'm probably not doing all too much damage with Revengers, but every little helps, right? So every now and again, I might do the heroically charge back in thing. It's just to keep the shield blocks up. I mean, I've had shield block up this entire fight at the moment, and I'm not worried about it. So it's just a quality thing, I think, is that I can do it, and therefore, why wouldn't I? All right, I'm going to go for the leaf here. Uh, to show you my talents, in case people are interested what talents I'm running, uh, there is an argument that you could use Booming Voice. Best Serve Cold is very nice with Reprisal, though, because it gives you that Revenge proc on charge. Uh, double Time means I'm getting more procs, and it gives me a little bit more mobility to get around in these lower keys. There is the potential that Storm Bolt or Rumbling Earth will just be better on higher keys, and I think they probably will. Um, 
Crackling Thunder helps with that kiting a little bit, also helps with the radius. Uh, it doesn't do a massive amount of damage, but just having that thing, something to tag like far away mobs is very nice. So what we're going to do here, we're going to kill this Staghorn. And as soon as this Staghorn dies, we're going to start running down to the next pack. So again, very important, telling the group, I'm going to do all th last three together. Yes, it's only a plus three, and I probably don't have to worry that much. But a little bit of communication never hurt anybody, so kill the staghorn here again as soon as the staghorn dies let's move into the next pack and let's do some big pulls here so what i'm going to do is i've hit all these i've used my revenge proc i'm going to jump into the next pack i might have to just heal myself just a little bit here so i've pulled everything together popped my banner and let's go and start grouping up so again i'm going to just try and save my shield wall we have so much shield block right now that i don't think we need it So the healer is dead. Can we do this anyway? Not ideal that the the uh, shield debuff is going out. So Fleshcraft was about neutral there, which means all of these mobs that are hitting me currently. Yeah, I haven't got anything really to survive, I don't think. No. So again, I mean... It's a shame that the interrupts didn't go and go through. Two people died to the knockbacks. But hey. We pulled 2.8k HPS. We had to use a lot on Ignore Pain there. Um, Blood Barrier was nice. I am running like 7% Leech. It was incredible as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Warrior, very fun. You get an organized group. I, I think this we may see this as a competitive pick. Things like MDIs coming up. Maybe. So we've got everything back to us. Let's kill everything off. Uh, again, I think everyone's low geared in here except the priest who's like 220 high level. Uh, and this is the thing at the moment is you are actually getting a lot of high level people doing low keys because they're farming Valor. So if you have got any low level alts, now's the perfect time to get them in, go and do low keys and things like that because uh, they actually want to do it, which is nice. So normally on a plus 10 or whatever, anything prideful, you would go and kill the other pack first, get prideful, take the prideful into boss. We're not high enough to have prideful, so I'm not going to worry about any of that. I'm just going to kill the boss first. And the reason for that is as soon as you hit the percentage, the entire dungeon kind of stops once you've killed the last bosses. So if I go and kill this next pack in a second and there's still two mobs alive when we hit 100%, they'll just stop hitting you. They just won't worry. And... Uh, it's pretty nice. So I'm going to drop my banner. Again, this is almost entirely for me here. It's given me 10%. So it's giving me 15% strength right now. I'm going to cast Fleshcraft as well. So we could go out and charge back in. On his next cast, I'll probably do that again just to give me some more shield blocks. Priest is actually mind controlled, which isn't ideal because he's the geared one. <laughs> Don't like the idea of him uh, one-shotting everybody. There we go, we got him. So overall, just to talk, kind of sum it up a little bit. Warrior feeling very, very fun. Uh, Repri Reprisal was nerfed, and it wasn't really a nerf was always due to come in as a four second buff it came in as a six second because that's what it was previously and it wasn't changed ultimately it's not something to worry about four seconds is still plenty fine it's still a good legendary as you can see i'm getting plenty of use out of it here um it's just the fact that it's not quite as strong as it would have been at six seconds but we didn't need it that much so hey doesn't matter uh, it wasn't really a nerf so much as a fix on, on what shouldn't have existed anyway. But all in all, we look at the overall damage here. So pulling 3k DPS at 196 eye level would be every other DPS in the, in the group other than the priest who's mentally geared. That's why I'm enjoying 
warrior at the moment. He's just so, so fun for that. You know, himself, ourselves some legs. Are they an upgrade? They are not, because it's my legendary slot. Happy days. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, like I said, there's another video to come very shortly. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you've got any, uh, tell me what the favorite thing about 9.0.5 is for yourselves. Very interested to know as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Bye.